All right, this is a test of autopilot on a road where there's a line on one side and nothing on the other. Uh, it's As of late, it's been doing pretty awesome, uh, staying within the lanes and um, following it, but not hugging the right side too closely. I know in the older versions of autopilot, it would, there's these grates on the side of the road and it would just hug them and I would feel the tires bumping over them. And I'd always have to take control because I didn't want to hit those little grates and it no longer really hugs that side at all. Um, so it's still doing pretty good. So this is definitely significantly improved from how it used to be where it would get lost here because the, the road is so darn wide and it would just kind of bounce back and forth even if it saw the lane on the left hand side. Nice. And it's definitely not hugging this right-hand side. It used to really get close and make me nervous to hit the curb or really anything on the right-hand side. And then, when, especially when the curbs disappeared or the ultrasonics didn't see anything over there, it would really get close, but seems to stay pretty darn centered now. The real test is coming up ahead. There is a uh, sort of a turn to the left and a uh, stone bridge and the stone bridge uh, it tends to get a little close for comfort so it's one of those things where I'm always taking over at that spot if I uh, if I had autopilot engaged so we'll see what happens as I as I get close up here Autopilot's automatically slowing down. I noticed after the last uh, map update that it's uh, it's now doing what it used to do, and that is if it's going above five above the speed limit, any more than five, it would just simply oh take over now. That's interesting. Didn't like that, so it does not handle the stone bridge. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, dramatically improved. Not sure why I got the takeover there, but. We'll give it a shot uh, when I come back through here next time and see if that behavior happens again.